Okay, it's seven o'clock. This is the um, December 19th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. Our meeting is being recorded by Frontier Community Access Television for later viewing by the public. First item on our agenda, minutes for December the 12th. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any corrections or amendments? Looks good to me. Yep. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for December the 12th. Second. Uh, I have a second. Any discussion? No? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next item, meetings attended by select board members. Do we have any meetings attended? I went to the Open Space Committee. Committee. We had a joint meeting between the Open Space Committee and the Ad Hoc Park Committee. Um, and you talked about what roles various people would play and and that and the open space committee is you know um, anxious to do a lot of work with the invasive species that are growing up in there and that's kind of what they what they do in a lot of other places and so that so that they're planning for that and they have CPA funds that can pay for that they can apply for and so. okay. So they, they, we did officially disband the ad hoc park committee because its role is kind of over at this point. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Bob. Any other any other meetings? No. Okay. Thank you. Any uh, citizens' concerns? I don't see any citizens here aside from Ron. So I don't think we have any citizens' concerns. All right. Next item is old business. First item on the agenda for old business is to appoint a new highway laborer. Uh, that is going to be tabled because we haven't finished that process yet. So that is going to be tabled. What's the standing on that? Well, a couple of weeks ago, we were, uh, Ron and I were ready to uh, bring someone in, a great candidate, and uh, we let him know after his interview. Uh, we emailed him. We called him. We emailed him again. We called him. We emailed one of his references. We called his reference twice. Um, we have not heard anything from him or about him since then. Um, I'm waiting for a response from the uh, Buckland Town Administrator to see if there's any further news, but I don't expect any because he wasn't really involved in the town. He was a, a, a fire department volunteer over there. So we're, um, we're talking uh, again, moving on to somebody else. I hope the, uh, <laughs> it's a bad the, sign. The second person. Not a good sign. So you call in the middle of the night, he wouldn't answer his phone. Okay. Thanks, Tom. All right, next item on the agenda is to approve Chapter 90 requests. Come on. What we got here is um, a proposal from an engineering firm for doing. Uh, Engineering for repairing the bridge on North Poland Road, number two bridge. Or is the bridge right up by 116? It's a second bridge in, yes. Yeah. Um, I call it number two, but it's on the state list, it's number four. <laughs> um, the, I met with the engineer, and he actually looked at the bridge, and he, he said that he didn't think it was as bad as what we all thought. It's probably not going to be a cheap fix, but it's not probably going to be anywhere near what it would cost to replace the bridge. So. Okay, so this is just for the engineering. Yep. And, and how do we come upon this particular engineering company? That it was recommended by Mass.DOT. Um, they okay. do a lot of work. Actually, they do the um, actual, they're the ones that did the rating on the bridge. Okay. So they already have, so have already, some experience with the bridge. Yeah, okay. they already have all the information. He, pretty much the meeting that I had with him out there, he pretty much thinks that they won't have to come out until the end. Okay. So okay. this that's what the chapter ninety is to pay for the engineering. Okay. So um, all of the all of that engineering comes out of chapter ninety. Plus. Correct. Okay. Any questions for Ron on this? No, something badly needed, I think. Yeah. Before the bridge gets up again, close. Okay. Well, 
Um, hopefully we can <coughs> prevent it from being closed. Yes. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right, I'll make a motion that we um, sign this Chapter 90 project request for engineering for the um, North Poland Road Bridge. It's bridge number C2004. North Poland Road over the Poland Brook. Conceptual bridge repair and painting documents. Okay. I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Yeah, we down there in that corner. You had that cribbed up now, is that right there? Right? Somebody yeah. say? Yeah, between the um, the cement pier and the thunder the beams. The beams are crowded at the end. So like they do at Delbridge. Yeah. Thank you, Ron. Do we have a copy of that? Tom? I'll make you a copy. I think they all, all should sign it there. Just okay. Yeah, just all right. Then just sign it under here. Will we all sign it? Yeah. yeah just make sure so there's no questions. Sure. And then I'll just go make you a copy. Yeah. That's that's the only item we have for tonight. That's the only one I didn't have time to do the other two. Okay. That I had in this point. So we'll have those next meeting. Yes. Okay. You take these back. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Before you leave, Ron, I, I know we I thought we were going to talk about these other tonight, but what's in the works for Delaware Avenue? What's in the works for? And and I understand that you, you reapplied again to FEMA. Uh, yeah, we haven't heard we haven't heard back from FEMA. But if we yet on that. If we lose in the round again, then where are we set? We'll apply again next year. How many years are we going to let this thing sit like that? Before it's going to eventually take the road out? We haven't gotten to that point. We, we need to hear back from FEMA before well, we talk I, about that. I guess that my question here future. was, should we consider setting some of his Chapter 90 money aside to do repairs in that in the future? Well, we can have a, a general update on your Chapter 90 plans maybe next time when you when you come it's in. Something to think about because, you know, if that fails, we, you know it's got to be done. Mm. Uh, but the, the other thing is, too, though, there's all kinds of things in other roads that need to be continued to be maintained. Yeah, let, let's let's have a let's have a discussion next time. Well, I guess my concern is if you've got bad enough, you have to close the road, then we're in serious trouble. That would be my major concern there. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll yeah. have that we'll have that discussion next meeting. Okay. All right. Thanks, Ron. Yep. All right. So for next time, we're going to discuss the reclamation and paving of East Guinea Road and the milling and paving overlay on South Asheville Road um, and Williamsburg Road, and we'll also discuss the uh, the Delabar Delabar Avenue problem. All right, next item on the agenda is to approve licenses. <coughs> We've got two licenses. We've got uh, uh, John Mags uh, doing business as JJ Mags uh, to Cricket Hill Road for buying and selling antiques. I think everybody is familiar with, sure. with them. Sure. Okay. And the second one is for. Um, Use car dealer's license class two to buy and sell secondhand motor vehicles. Yeah. That's James Costigan doing business as J and J Auto Sales at um, uh, 770 East Guinea Road in Conway. We're also familiar with that That's one. That's another so, renewal, right? Yeah. yeah, another renewal. Uh, I'll make a motion that we um, approve the license for J and J Mags. For ant buying and selling antiques, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll make a motion that we approve the um, renewal of the license for J&J uh, &J Auto Sales for used car dealers license class two to buy and sell secondhand motor vehicles. Um, located at 770 East Guinea Road, Conway. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. How many more of these will there be? I think that's Is, it. Oh, uh, that's it? Is that the end? That's yep. it. Great. 
Of course, I'd like it if there were twice as many. John, do we have anything on the next item on the agenda, or is just that's just there for? Uh, no, we don't, think, we don't think things are moving there. fairly slowly on the budget at this point. Okay. Um, a couple, a couple new ones have come in. Um, I'll get to a little bit of that in my update. Okay. Um, next item on the agenda for new business is a proclamation recognizing January 22nd through the 28th as School Choice Week in Conway. We're going to table that uh, because we haven't gotten a, a recommendation from the school committee on that, and uh, we need further discussion on that. So that'll be tabled for now. Uh, next item on the agenda is to appoint Andy Lovechuck to the Open Space Committee. Uh, he comes recommended by the Open Space Committee? Yes, absolutely. Andy? Yeah. All right, John O'Rourke. Uh, please John. have a seat. Hey, you yeah. make it through the entire meeting. I did. Yeah, I ran to the entire meeting. <laughs> so, Andy, they've given you a, a, a superb recommendation to be on the Open Space Committee? Uh, apparently. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, they called, and I'm happy to do it. Terrific. Great. Thank Great. you much for your your volunteer. Uh, this is very important to our town to have more people volunteer for committees like this. Mm -hmm. So now you learn all about eradicating invasive species. Uh, I got a, uh, a crash course the other night. <laughs> yep. Um, and they're way ahead of me, so I've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay. It's all good. Yeah. Good. Any hey, questions for Andy? No. Anything else you have to say, Andy? Nothing. Just happy okay. to do it. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Andy. I'll make a motion that we um, uh, approve Andrew Lovechuck uh, for a okay. term to end June 30th, 2017, to the Open Space Committee. You've been oh. sworn in by Jenny. Oh, I have uh, to come and get, have that done. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Yeah, we can't do it. It has to yeah. be Jenny. Oh, it's got to be Jenny. Okay. You'll stand there and she'll swear at you. Okay, very good. Thank you, Andy. Okay, thank you. Have a good night, guys. Have a good holiday if I don't see you. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Have a Merry Christmas. Okay, town administrator update time. Yeah. Um. For committee work, wastewater engineering bids are being open Thursday at 2 p.m. I assume we'll get a request for a special town meeting soon after that, but they should get a recommendation from the finance committee first. Okay, right there. Uh, uh, we would, uh, and that recommendation would, would be first to, uh, to bring it to a vote, but also to propose a source of funding mm -hmm. for that, which uh, could well be free cash. Okay. Uh, uh, for projects, uh, Bruce Hunter from the Housing and Redevelopment Authority uh, called and mentioned a Leverett meeting on the Community Development Block Grant on uh, January 10th. He is asked to come in here on January 23rd to explain the current process. Leverett will be the lead town that rotates among all the towns that are mm -hmm. involved in that particular uh, group. Uh, and there will not be any social service component, as uh, Pam Parmakian, who had come in before, had suggested that there might be. Um, mm -hmm. They are dropping that. And Pam actually has uh, moved on from the, uh, from the Housing and Redevelopment mm -hmm. Authority, which is why Bruce is coming in uh, mm -hmm. for this one. Uh, it'll just be housing rehabilitation. Okay. And, who is, and is, is Bruce Hunter the new executive director there? No. Who, who's the new executive director? I don't recall. Because Robin Sherman is no longer there. Right. Mm. Right. Okay. Um, uh, the Community Compact IT project is moving forward. I'm working with Linda Dunlavey uh, from the FERCOG and Joe Markarian on that, along with Northeast IT, who's the, uh, the consultant who's working on putting together a best practices manual right. and applying it to, uh, to Conway. Yeah, I understand. I, I, I should have said that I was at the Finance Committee meeting FERCOG last week, and uh, it came up that we are the 
the uh, the model town for that. Mm -hmm. We will be the town that that sets the best standard for everybody else in the county. So mm -hmm. I get so many meetings. Hmm. Sometimes I forget that I've yeah. been to meetings, especially ones where they speak well of Conway. Well, they always speak well of Conway. Oh, that's good. You know. Um, okay. And I actually have one one other item that I that I should mention. The uh, Parks and Parks Recreation and Trails Committee has a new chair, Jason Hunter, who works for the Berkshire Brewing Company. So their events uh, should be well uh, well attended. <laughs> I think. Um, okay. And uh, they have they have requested level funding for uh, for the coming year for 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 their own committee. But uh, that that just goes to show that. This this new committee has gotten um, organized. It's got itself a new chair. They've gone through the the, the budget process. They're they're covering all kinds of details. And um, good. I I met with uh, Megan Gump today about that as well. So they're really uh, some new energetic young people. That's they're, good. They're they're Great. doing they're doing well. Okay. That's Perfect. Right. Jason's a good person. Thank you, Tom. Uh, next item, concerns of the selectmen. Do we have any current concerns tonight, gentlemen? Hearing none, we'll go on. Next item is uh, mail. We got a letter from Comcast announcing a meeting um, that we have already arranged and we'll be attending the meeting on February 7th at 9.30 at the U UMass Lincoln Campus Center to discuss the um, the design and build out for the rest of, of Conway. Okay, that'll be great. Any comments on that, Bob? We should get them out ahead of time. Uh, if there's any significant changes, I could let the impacted people know. I may wait until after this meeting, but. Fine. Uh, then we'll get the, we'll get the plans before we that. We should get the yes. plans before the meeting so we can come to the meeting prepared. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay, great. Thanks, Bob. Any yeah. announcements anybody has? No announcements. Okay. Okay. Next item is the schedule of our next meeting. That's going to be for Wednesday, December the 28th at 5 p.m. in this office. Uh, the reason for that is because the 26th, which is a Monday, is the celebration. Uh, it's Christmas observed. And Tuesday, um, is a little close for them to get the warrants ready, so our meeting is going to be on Wednesday. Um, any uh, any questions on that, guys? No. Okay. All right. Um, there's no other business for tonight. I will make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Everybody have a merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Christmas to you too.